Hi, this is Ron Elving and welcome to my office hours. Today we're going to talk about the filibuster. People regarded it as a nuclear weapon. Just the most extreme part of your arsenal as a senator. You only used it for one or two issues that were absolutely the most important thing to you, like Southern senators and civil rights. The filibuster came about because the Senate has never really had very many rules that they really followed, and senators were allowed to extend debate for hours, for days, forever. And as a result, they were able to kill legislation without ever having a vote on it. The House and Senate have always had their very different procedures and very different voting procedures because the House is so much larger, so many more members of the House. And the Senate was always a kind of exclusive club where people got to know each other much more personally, served for longer periods of time, and considered each other to be colleagues. So over the generations in the 1800s, senators were allowed to debate things at any length they wanted and talk bills to death if they wished, and there wasn't any restriction on that until about the time of the First World War, 100 years ago. And when they did start to restrict it, it took a vote of two-thirds of all senators to invoke cloture and stop a filibuster. Filibusters were rare, votes of cloture were even more rare, and the filibuster was a very powerful weapon. Eventually, as part of a reform in the 1970s, the Democrats, when they were in the majority, reduced the number of votes that it took to shut down a filibuster and proceed to a vote to just three-fifths of the Senate or 60 votes. That made the filibuster seem more controlled, but it had a rather unexpected and pernicious, in some people's minds, effect. When it went down to three-fifths or just 60 votes, it didn't seem nearly as nuclear a weapon. In fact, it eventually became like a sidearm the cowboys wore, like a six-shooter on their hip when they walked into a saloon in an old Western movie. Everybody had one, everybody could see you had one, and it was like a constant threat to use it, but you didn't actually have to use it for it to have its desired effect. People used it to sort of threaten that they might extend debate without ever actually having to do it, and nowadays, any substantial action is subject to at least a threat of a filibuster. I'm Ron Elving. Thanks for coming to my office hours.